Hello, all you people. Crips, turn back on the video. Give me one second, please. Ooh, it's a better lighting. This video. I guess that's good. But anyway, yeah. Here we go. Let's talk Sundays once again. We're going to be talking about Battleground. Battleground prediction. Sorry. I'm breathing really hard. Just got done from jumping outside on trampoline. But, um, yeah, anyway, Battleground prediction. Let's get started right away. Um, Lesnar vs. Rollins. They actually set up some matches this time where we can't, like, guess or, like, predict anything. If we can, like, guess who's going to win. Because, um, apparently everybody thinks Rollins is going to win. There have been some rumors that Brock is going to win the title. He might, like, win it at SummerSlam or something. I don't know. Honestly, I don't really care who wins it at this point. Uh, but I like both of them very much. But I'd like to see how it plays out if Brock wins it once again. It'll be kind of cool. Like, Rollins, he's been holding on to it. Either due to referee bumps or the authority. He's never actually doing it by himself. So, this could be like um, a hint on the shield coming back. But, I have no idea. Many people say, no, the shield's not coming back for at least like some more years or something. Well, I feel like, like, like the shield can like come back and like create themselves. Recreate themselves. Sorry, excuse me. Like, have a new theme song. Like, they can have the, like, recent attires they have on. Just, like, to mix it up a little bit. Something different. Like, I want the Shield to come back, of course, because they were freaking dominant. But it's, it's going to, like, be kind of weird because, you know, Rollins, let's say he, like, loses the um, WWE Championship. Triple H turns on him. Let's say Roman beats um, Bray at Battleground. Ambrose doesn't, doesn't even have a match on the card at Battleground. Ambrose is free. Just let have Roman beat Bray. Then that's it. But this is their fault. If they're trying to set up the shield, they shouldn't have done a rivalry with Bray. Because Bray and Roman have been going back and forth. This rivalry is actually better than some of Bray Wyatt's past rivalries. Like one of Bray's best rivalries was, was with John Cena and his legacy and all that at WrestleMania 30. Even though John Cena just just flattened Bray at WrestleMania 30. Still a pretty good build up. Like I don't like what they're doing with Bray. Like, like literally. WrestleMania 31, Undertaker beat him. Undertaker's gone. Um Bray comes back talking to Ryback or something. What are they doing? They're like, okay, you're going to get beat by him. Then you're going to win to him. They're going to be, get beat by him. Then they're going to, like, attack somebody else. That's what he does. He attacks people, and then he ends up getting into some lame storyline with them. Like, literally, I have to think. Daniel Bryan. Uh, did he even start talking to Daniel Bryan? I don't even remember. I think he might attack Daniel Bryan, too. Like, hit, like, a sister Abigail to the barricade or something. I don't know, but Bray, really, the Shield, I don't know. Okay, some other matches on the card. Orton and Sheamus, why? Like, I, I wasn't even, I wasn't even, just, just, wow. I was not even paying attention to the freaking Sheamus and Orton feud. I didn't even know Orton was out. He, like, returned on Raw or something. Like, people have been saying, like, he was, like, out for a month or something. I have I had no idea about that. Um, Neville and Stardust, I did not know they had a match on the card. Um, pretty exciting. Hope Neville probably will win, but, you know, Stardust, Cody's father passed away, you know. But, whatever. Um, any other matches on the card? Primetime Players versus New Day. I don't know about that match. I don't really care who wins that match either. Not saying, like, I, I don't know. Like, the New Day. I just don't know. I don't know. The New Day. I want them to all have singles careers, because, uh, I just, I just don't know. I feel like the New Day is not, like, helping them out at all. Like, Kofi, what is he doing? He's been in WWE for at least, like, like some years, in like, five, six, seven years. He's been in the United States Champion, Intercontinental Champion, the Tag Team Champion. R-Truth, I don't even know when R-Truth's been around. Like, since, like, 2009, at least. It's been, like, five years or six years now. He's only been Tag Team Champion. What is, what is R-Truth doing? He's, like, freaking, I think, like, 43 years old. What are they doing with him? I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, Biggie, I feel like Biggie and Xavier Woods can actually do something with their careers. I'm not saying that they're, like, doing horrible now, but you know what I mean. Like, do something else. Like, the New Day, it was a cute little, like, clapping gimmick, whatever. It's over now. Please, just shut it down. Primetime players, on the other hand, I don't know. They just, like, kind of came out of nowhere and won. Like, I didn't even expect them to win at Money in the Bank. That was kind of crazy. But, anyway, is there any more matches on the card? Uh, they're a Divas Championship match. I do not even care. Nikki Bella is kidnapping the title. They're trying to break AJ Lee's record. Do not care. That sucks. They're mean. Just aggravating. Um, yeah, Nikki Bella, I do not like her as champion at all. We need Becky Lynch, Shasha Banks, Charlotte, and Bayley. I think Bayley is going to be debuting on the main roster soon, so I don't know. 
hopefully, because they, they need some help. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Brock or Rollins, Sheamus or Orton, PTP, Primetime Players of the New Day, Sheamus or Orton, who cares? I think I might have just said that already. Anyway, um, I, I can't really remember any of my other, other matches. Uh, the stupid pre-show, Bad News Buried and freaking R-Truth. He's the 2015 King of the Ring for crying out loud. What are you doing with him? Like, nothing against R-Truth. R-Truth was just sitting on the sidelines doing nothing, and then they pulled him in for a freaking King trade-off or something. Going back and forth for this who's King, rightfully King gimmick. I don't lie. R-Truth has done a lot of things. Like, I think the best run he had when, like, facing John Cena at, like, Capital Punishment 2011. Or when he teamed up with the Miz, I don't, I just don't know. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, with, give me a prediction for every match: Sheamus, Orton, Brock Lesnar, Primetime Players New Day, all of that. Like I said, this is Let's Talk Sunday. So hope you like, subscribe, catch your next video. Curb Sniper stomping out. See you guys later. I will be doing the Q and A soon. I just like really need some questions, so I'll give you guys my Twitter, Facebook down in the description below. Um, send me a friend request, text me some questions, I'll answer them in the next Q and A. I, I can't like actually plan the Q and A out. I'll just have to schedule it. But like I said, hope you like, subscribe, catch you next video. This was Let's Talk Sundays with Curb Stomper. Like I said, hope you like, subscribe, catch you next video. Curb Stomper, stop it out. See you guys later. Bye bye.